Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is challenge day. We have Marguerite Miller, the hashtag little bits of lace 2024 and Roxy's weekly challenge. So we will get started once we say hi and hugs to Diane, Donita, Tracy and Nikki. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, so off we go to Marguerite Miller, which I can't even believe how easy this is going to be this time. Um, three of my prompts, four of my prompts are on this piece of paper. So uh, something people collect, this is a picture. I collect pictures. And then there's a clock and something with a spine, this little girl and a flower. So look at us just rocking that. Uh, text in a foreign language. I have this. And then um, uh, what was it? A geometric shape with at least five sides. So I punched out some hexagons. So there we go. We are ready to rock and roll with this thing, aren't we? So take off that part because we don't need that. All right, I'm just going to plop this down. Which side do we like better? I don't think I like that side better. Okay, we'll plop it down and then we'll figure out the rest. I, I don't really have a plan other than I was pretty tickled. I thought, oh, I probably have, a t uh, you know, a digital that's got a clock on it. So that's what I was looking for. And then I found this. This is an old digital from um, Antique Papery. I have looked at her shop. Her digitals are different than they used to be. So, but, you know, once you have them on your computer, you have them. So that's kind of nice. Okay. We'll just put that there. <laughs> now, um, I think I'm going to just wherever my scissors went to, I'm going to cut these out. I was going to tear them and then I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I think I'll cut them. Can't I, there's no time on challenge day for waffling around with what to do. There's just not. So we got to just make a decision and go with it. Okay, there's the picture. And I think I'm gonna cut this out. Just kind of easily go around it here. And I think I'm going to have it as all one piece. can definitely go there the picture and then we've got these but I'm also wondering about maybe this little flower I'll go ahead and cut it out too maybe we'll just use that somewhere to add to like like maybe right there or something okay now I'm thinking one of these I will put on as kind of like a tuck and then I can put the prompts in there so I think that would be good right there let's do that oh gosh I hope I hope my art glitter glue works today I should have it's getting really low and it's getting kind of gummy but I didn't want to fill it up until I left for my retreat. So as we speak, okay, that is just not going to work. I'm not going to mess with it. We're going to go to a different kind of glue. I've used the Tombow today. Um, anyway, this will, let's see, this will air on Wednesday. And I will be on my way to the retreat. It's Monday when I'm filming this 
Okay, I'm going to put that right there for the moment. Okay, and then I'm going to put these other things on. So, um, so yeah, I'll be on my retreat vacation, my vacation where I tend to put a bunch of journals together. I say put them together because a lot of work is done ahead. <laughs> so it's just, it's just the, uh, it's just the fun decorating part that I have left on all of them. This is a big piece to be glue and get down, but we're going to do it. Okay. Let's stick to the paper. So there's a little boy on this page and a little girl on this page. That's lovely. Okay, so then that will go in like that. And so where do we want these? Kind of like that there. That's going to bug me. Maybe we'll go like that. Yep, that's it. Okay. All right. Well, that's, we made short work of that. It was just ever so helpful to have all the, all the props on one digital. I was like, how lucky, how lucky is that? Okay, I'm gonna stick a little bit under here. Just on the on the curve there. Just didn't wanna didn't wanna stay very badly. Okay, something people collect: geometric shape, clock, foreign language, something with a spine, and flowers. We did it. So there's today's Marguerite Miller. Woohoo! All right. Okay, onward and upward, we are going to do our little bits of lace. And the project today is these little notepads. I'm just kind of using some papers and making little notepads with a pretty digital on the outside and then a little bit of lace. This one has a little flower to embellish, this one has a little bit of lace and um, some trim. So let's make a couple. Um, <clears throat> just grab grab some more papers. Let's see here. Ooh, that would be pretty. Okay. Let's see. We also we also are gonna need lace, aren't we? All right. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tear off this little bit okay let's see where can i set those i'm running out of room here okay when there's three challenges it's like i try and get all the stuff that i'm going to need on my on my desk and it just is a little a little bit crowded okay need to turn on my heat, okay. Let's see, so I've got this piece, this piece of paper. Um, let's use this green one. I wanna do, let me just put this on my mat here. I wanna do about two and a half inches. That's a nice size and just can tuck into a pocket and just, it works out really great. So we'll just cut or tear, shall we say, some to use. Just gonna have a little bit left on the edge there. Okay. So 
let's put these together. And I was kind of doing, was I doing three or four? Looks like I was doing four. Let's grab also another something. Um, how about, I've got some of this uh, thin coffee dyed paper and it's, it's a little thin to use for a page. So I think I'll just make this into two and a half inch stri strips too. Okay, there, now we have, now we have those. Okay, so I'm gonna add that in here, just wherever. Okay, so, I'm just going to, oh, where's our, here's our pretty, our pretty patterned piece. Actually, I'm gonna pull this down this way and kinda go like that. And just fold them in half. Okay. Now, let's see. What would we like for a little lace? Um, I, think, I think this is a good width here. Because I just want to go down this side so that I can still see. Now, I'm going to cut this so a little bit hangs over on the back too, like so. And I'm gonna give that a three staples across. And then I think with this one, I would like to put the lace this way too. Oh, you can still kind of see the staples, which is fine, but I think I don't want to see them. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use paper. And I'll fold that in half. And then we're just going to glue that over the staples. That works. Let's see, I think I want the torn side over here. Okay, and there we go. We have our little our little notepad. So, let's see if we have another pretty piece of paper we want to use. Let's just look here. Um, we could use this blue. This is gritty. I think this is. I think this is from Crafty Cat. I'm not sure. So let's just. Do the two and a half. We'll put that together and then you'll have you'll have the idea, which is, is what is what I wanted you to have. Okay, so those two, what else do I have over here? Well this one, this is such a funny paper, but how wide is this? It's about almost three and a half, but that's okay. I'm gonna use it anyway. We'll put that kind of in the back. Mm-hmm. Do I need another piece? I kind of felt like I do. Do I have a blue one? Yes. Let's tear this and use this too. Two and a half. So fun thing to use scraps for, for sure. I um, obviously am using using um, ones that I'm ripping, but you could use scraps too. Maybe since this is wider, let's put put this one over to the side a bit so it kind of shows 
We'll put this one to the other side. If I can get them to stay put where I put them. Okay. There we go there. Okay. There's that. Now, let's see. Looking for a little bit wider lace. Let's see what we have. Oh, here we go. Let's use this. Trying to see which side's the right side. And we'll just cut a little bit right here. Okay, now, again, stapling it kind of in three spots and catching the paper where I need to. Um, let's put a bit of trim across the top of this one. Like that. Yeah. And for that, I think I'll use the uh, good old fabric tack. Um, just make sure it sticks. So anyway, you have the idea. It's just putting a little bit of lace on some small notebooks. So I've wondered, am I gonna run out of ideas? <laughs> oh geez, I just put my finger right in it, shoot. Um, am I gonna run out of ideas for the little bit of lace challenge? I don't know, we'll see. I seem to have come up with something each time, but you know, you never know when the well's gonna run dry. So, but I love that, that's, that's fun. Okay. So that's that idea. Let's get on to the Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And I'll leave, I'll leave my lace out here because that may be needed. But anyway, so we've got four little, four little notebooks that I can use in spring journals. So we'll set those aside. There's that. You know what? Let's make one more and use up this paper. We'll just go every other one like that. And let's use, oh shoot, I got the fabric tack on the fingernail polish. You know, <laughs> that's what happens. Let's see, what do we have that? Ooh, that'd be cute. That okay. Hang on, not quite done. Okay, and I want that flower, so that'll be cute, won't it? Little Roxy Creations flowers, or I mean papers, so we're adding her in a little bit. Yeah, this will use up those scraps, so that'll be great. Put that there. Put that up a tiny bit, and we'll fold it in half. Um, and let's see, let's just put, let's just put the, um, lace that we have out maybe. Okay. Here's a, here's a thicker one. Ooh, this one would cover up the staples, I think. Yeah, I'm going to put that right there. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have, I should have folded that different so you saw the flower better, but that's okay. So it goes, folks, so it goes. Let's just. Okay. I'm putting that up a little so the middle that is more, um, you can't see through it as well. Okay, cool. All right, we used up our scraps. Look at us. All righty, let's now 
do the Roxy's weekly challenge. And um, so we don't need these papers. Okay, so I have a bit of a twist on the Roxy's weekly challenge. Rachel was using scrapbook paper scraps. Well, I used most of mine up in one of her other challenges. So the things that she was doing, she was doing pockets and tucks. And I thought I'm going to use some six by six papers. And then some of the papers I have kind of stored with my six by six and don't use them very often. I thought, let's just use these. So let's go through and make bases out of some of these. So this one has all these beautiful flowers. I'm just gonna look and see if I see one, like that one might be good. Ooh, that one would be good. Let's use this. Um, and we'll just make some bases. So six by six, I'm gonna fold it in half. <clears throat> Excuse me, I developed a frog. Fold it in half and we'll just cut this off. And this is gonna wrap around the page. It was all wrap around tucks and pockets that she did. So um, I'm just gonna glue that here, here, and same on this side, and it'll be a tuck, okay? So we'll make the bases and then we'll do some decorating. Okay, so I thought we'd just go through all these papers and make different things. This one is Minte Papers Vintage Floral, and they're gorgeous. Look at how pretty. I love these. Ooh, that one's a really pretty one. Let's use it. Okay, and this one is, what is it? Um, six by eight. And so if I do this in half, it's going to be a great size pocket. But I think what I want to do is cut this a bit and have it, I'll show you. So... Let's go, let's go four and a half with it. And then we'll go in half again. Gosh, this is one of those things where it's hard to, hard to choose which side, but I'm gonna choose this side. And this time I'm gonna put a thumb hole at the top and this one will again wrap around the page but it'll be a top loading pocket so we'll glue like that okay there's that one now these oh these are so thick too these are 49 and market vintage artistry tranquility pack okay i have an idea for this one so we're gonna do it in half, but I, let's see, this one is six by eight. I'm gonna use my scoreboard because this is so thick. I don't think it will, I don't think it will um, fold well. So I'm gonna go at three because it's six inches wide. I'm gonna go right in half here on this one. Okay. And this one, we're going to fold. And boy, does that need some squishing with the bone folder. So isn't that pretty? And I don't want to lose any of it. So it's eight. So it will fit on a page like this. And I'm going to put a thumb hole midway here. And it's going to be a side pocket on each side of the page. So we'll glue here and here on each side, right? So that'll be a fun one to decorate. Okay, so there's that idea. Now let's see, this is a whole different size. What is this? This is eight by eight. I didn't know. Maybe this one looks kind of springy. 
Um, let's see, this one is Stamperia Romantic Collection. Let's see, eight by eight. I guess we could just do the same thing. Don't want to lose that though. I think I'm just going to do the same thing. We're just going to do a, just do a sideways pocket on the page. Now, does that give enough room? It does. So yeah, we can still slip something in there. Okay. So let's give it a squish and I'll just make it. I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the thumb hole a little deeper just because it's wider. Okay, so we did that one. Let's see. Um, what's this one? Eight and a half by eleven. Okay. Just looking for one, I think maybe this one. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. It's eight and a half by 11. So if we fold this way, it's gonna be five and a half, which is a bit big for a pocket in my, in my estimation. But we could do that. Okay, eight and a half by 11. Um, okay, I'm gonna cut this in half. It's 11 this way, so I'll go five and a half. If I can see it there, yep, five and a half there. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple different things with this one and go, um, what was I thinking on the? Oh yeah, so this, let's see, eight and a half. So this is four and a quarter, which will work for a pocket that way. Okay. So we'll do a little the top, which is the same thing we've already done, but with different paper. So, okay. And then on this one, it's, let's see, it's five and a half this way. So I am going to cut it at five and a half this way. Let's see if I can see the five and a half. Okay. This will be great for a tag. So we'll put that over there. And then I'm gonna take this point to point on the cutter like this. And I'm gonna have two side sort of corner, corner pockets. But again, this is a bit too long for me. So I'm just, what I'm gonna do is cut it off. Okay, this one this way and this one the other way. So, I think I want it right about, I'm going to go again about four and a half like that. And then that will easily, it, you know, it won't bind up the spine, I guess is what I'm saying. So we'll do the other one. All right, and we've got side side pockets. Okie dokie, I have one more thing of paper to see if we can use. This is Prima Timeless Memories, and it's very um, kind of neutral. Just 
looking for the perfect whatever here. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with this one. Wouldn't you know the first one that I flipped you? Okay, and this is, she's a weird size. Let me just tell you as soon as I can get this out of here. Okay, so this is 8.27 inches by 11.69 inches. <laughs> okay, weird size. Um, so, what do, how do we want to, what do we want to do with this? Well, first of all, I need to cut off this strip. So, we'll do that. And then... Then we'll figure something out from there. I mean, the nice thing about this being so neutral, it can be, can be anything we want. So, how about let's let's um, let's go ahead and cut this at six inches here. And then let's see if we can fold this in the middle. It's a bit thicker too, but I think that'll be okay. And let's make um, let's see on this one. I was thinking of making another side tuck. I don't know. Let's do let's do this one the same way. Let's make one a side tuck and one a top loading pocket and then we'll then we'll be set. So I'm feeling this one for the side tuck. Okay. And then this one for the top loading pocket. Okay, so we did all our bases, and um, again, Rachel used scraps that she had, but I was I was pretty much out of scraps to be honest, and so, but just using those weird size paper that I don't use a lot. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces that we can finish. Okay. So here we go. Let's let's decide what to do here. This one I don't feel like needs a whole ton. It needs some labels. So we'll just start with it. Let me check my time. How much? Oh, I've got I've got some decorating time here. That's good. Yeah. So today's Monday. I usually either try to do my Wednesday challenge on the weekend or on Monday because you know Rachel puts her video on on Friday so um so it works out that way but anyway we had volleyball yesterday Katie and Addie it was fun they did good they won all their games except the last one and I think they really wanted to win the last one because it was against the Bozeman team. <laughs> you know, the rivalry there. Let's see. Let's use, grab my, grab my bits here from the Junk Journal Studio. And what I was wondering is if there's a pink one that we would like up there at the top. There's these round ones. Mm, I like that. I'm going to do it. Just going to do it. And we'll find something for this side too. That one needs a long, like, one that goes up and down. I don't know if I'm going to find that. But, don't know till I look a little bit. 
there's a lady, but I don't want a lady or a man. I don't want those. Let's see. There's one. This side doesn't have a whole lot of pink, though, so I'm kind of wondering if I want a blue over there. Um... Looking for the up and down here. Oh, here's one. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the corset. It's too specific of a time frame is why I passed that by. And um, yeah, let's do a blank one. And you know, I don't know what journal I'm gonna use this in, but I don't, do that many Victorian sort of journals so once in a while I do but um, since this is floral I'd like to keep it a little more to where I can just use it in a journal that um, has these colors okay alrighty let's get these on this one, I feel like I could use something there too. I have a thought, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's look. Um, do I not? Like what if I did? that. Is that weird to have two labels? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, my sweet husband just got home. He he took my van to wash it and vacuum it out for me. He's so sweet. <laughs> it seems like it's always, a, the van is always a big old mess by the time I get home because be in spring oftentimes it it rains and then we're trying to pack in our stuff and some of it is on rollers and ends up getting all sorts of wet and full of pine needles from from the retreat house so <laughs> so it's kind of like yeah get it washed for the trip there but it's uh yeah, it tends to get a little bit messed up. So yeah, I'm getting this done today and then tomorrow I have to pack, which is always big. Yeah, so that's good. Okay, let's put this on this side. We'll at least have one decorated. <laughs> I would like to get more than one decorated. We'll see how we see how we go here. But, oh, okay, very fun. All right, um, I was thinking these are bigger pieces, so could I use some of my little girls from um, Artsology? Ooh, yes. How would she go? Well, I could use a pink one too, if there's something with a little bit of pink. Oh, they're so adorable. I need to print them out again. I just keep using them. Oh, she's adorable. Oh, she goes perfect there. Mm -hmm. And I'll put it down so you can see happiness there. Awesome. Yeah, so it's been a busy time, but I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I have videos covering the time I'm gone and um, for YouTube and for Patreon because, you know, Patreon has exclusive content that I don't do over here on YouTube. 
And so, so if you're interested in that, it's very reasonable to join. And um, I'd love to have you. I, I love my Patreon ladies and gents, ladies and gents. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a fun spot. It's a fun spot to support artists of your choice is basically what it is. Okay, let's grab, how about a little, boy, not much of it will show, will it? Let's see, let's try another, this one looks smaller. Well, it's there, but I don't know that it adds a whole lot, so I don't think I'm going to put that there, but I am going to put her there because she is just too, too cute. Thank you, Deb, for these. Gosh, I just went over to Deb's, to Artsology, and she had a new digital that I just went and got. So I need to print that out so I can show you guys. Here's her. And you know what I think I'm going to do up here? It needs something. I think we'll just add a little lace. A little bit of lace. go and we'll put that on there maybe better use the fabric tack even though it compromises the nails I finally got them um, finally got them po polished I just I, time has been a real issue for me lately I just feel like I don't have time to get everything done. I need to. I think it goes this way. But I'm getting there, folks. I'm a getting there. Let's use this. Okay. Love that. Love that. Okay, that is really fun. Now here, I've got pink flowers here that I don't really want to cover up. Do. I think I might just like do a flower on there if I have um you know these are a little bit longer so I think I might use one of these if I can find them Those are not the right color. Let's see what this one's like. What if we did that and then did a long word? We'll get in there, guy. These uh, old photo albums, I just get them at the dollar store, 2008, um, are great for storing stuff, but sometimes it's hard to, sometimes it's hard to get it lined up, you know? Okay, and it's also hard to get off the the sticker sometimes. There we go. Okay, and put that 
up there. And then a word. And I don't know what color word would we like. Let's talk about that. <laughs> um, maybe green. Well, I think I like green better than the pink. Thoughtful. Encourage. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. That works. That works. We got two done. Woohoo. They're both the same kind, though. <laughs> we need to branch out here. Um, yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so there's that one. Love that. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, I have my little girls here. Um... Let's do maybe one of those. Ooh. These little... These don't need a whole lot because, you know, I want the pretty paper to show. What was on the other side of that? Oh, just plain. Okay. I don't feel as bad that I'm losing the other side if it's plain, you know. Put my lid on there. I think I'm just going to do a, some sort of label on these as well because, again, I just want to see the paper. Um, I could do the birds. Uh, where are those? There they are. could do a little bird quote. These are from Dairy Barn Art. Ooh, no bird soars too high if he soars with his own wings. Yep, that's what's going to happen here. I'm just going to put a bird quote. Then I just cut these out with my jaggedy scissors and it gives them kind of a interesting edge so that's like the perfect size okay yeah very simple right but love that okay maybe this side I'll go down low birds birds teach a great life lesson all you have to do is listen to their song I've, done, I've used that before too oh this one's nice a bird does not sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. Lovely. These are great. And all different colors. Oh, do I want to use a different color? I might. I might want to use this color. What's this one? Living unloved is like clipping a bird's wings and removing the ability to fly. Well, that's not happy. Ooh, I like this one. The bird that dares to fall is the dirt bird that learns to fly. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, well that one's done. Look at us go. Look at us go. That doesn't feel very sticky right there. Okay, I'm just going to put that right down there. Okay, very simple, but it's the paper that is the, the star of that show. Okay, let's try to do one of the like one of these. Ooh, are you gonna fit on there? No, but would fit on this one. Let's put some little girls on here. Let's 
excuse me, birds. You go over there. This is pretty paper. Looks nice. Distressed too. Yeah, for whatever reason, you know, these little girls don't make me think, oh, I don't want to use those like, like the Victorian sort of ones. I don't know. These, these are timeless. I guess that's it. Okay, I thought there was kind of a pinkish one. That one's somewhat. That one, these are all got a little pink in her hair. She's very cute. Oh my gosh. She needs to go on there. Look at this one. So cute. This one's kind of got the same colors too. I'm going to put one on one side and one on the other side. Maybe with a little word. Maybe not. We'll see. But because your scrapbook paper is, you know, is pretty patterns, it's not that difficult to, um, decorate these don't have to don't have to put a lot so where I'm using these little girls if for some reason you don't have the little girls any sort of journal card that's this size would work like even the journal cards from a um, scrapbook paper would work okay let's put you two on here Let's, I don't want, I don't want any print from the glue book sticking to our face. <laughs> the poor little pumpkin. Okay. Oh my gosh, the, one of the girls that, um, my girls play volleyball with, she's got a baby brother and that baby was like a teenage girl magnet. <laughs> it was so cute. It was in its stroller. And, you know, like there's six of them around this stroller talking to this baby. He must have thought, oh, this is nice. <laughs> I like all this attention. So cute. And then one of the coaches was looking for Addie because... Her little girl just loves Addie. Addie's like the child whisperer. She just, you know, like Bucky and Leaf, they love Addie. Okay, let's think about a word or a phrase or something, but um, let's look at pink monarch prints. Don't want the purple. It's more like the believing be be believing I love that that's pretty okay oh the most beautiful thing maybe that'll be cute over here yes okay got that one figured out I'm gonna have some for my to-do box though much as I try not to Oh, I don't know what I'd do without my to-do box anyway. So there you go. It's just fun to have. And I need to go through it and figure out which ones might go in the journals that I'm taking. You know, just so I can take a batch of those. I have a, a little bin of finished ephemera that might go in one or the other. Oh, these are labels. Oopsie. Too busy blabbing. Too busy blabbing. Okay, so there's that. Are you going to stick on there? I'm going to pull that off and try and get the backing off of it. Yeah. That'll be better. Whoops. Okay, you're going right down there. Okay, so there is that one. It looks like I probably better do a little show you what we did sort of thing. And um, 
Need to get some stuff out of the way. And I should put the cap on my glue, shouldn't I? All right, let's check it out. What do we do today? Well, first off, we had our Marguerite Miller challenge here. So that was that. Was that. Then the little bits of lace project was these little um, these little notebooks. So have a variety of those that we made. Love them. Okay. So it's just a little piece of lace on your on your notepads. That's the idea there. Okay, and then we did our pockets. We have this one. They all go around a page. That one. We have this one. Simple Simon, just a label, but love that paper. Okay, and then we did this one. Side tuck. Love it. And another side tuck. So that is this week's challenges. So thanks so much for being here. I hope you have a grateful day. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.